and welcome to TGN Central. This is Guild Wars 2 News, a week in review. I am your host, Geekasaurus. We're going to take a look back at the past week of September 2nd through September 8th, 2012. Over the last week, ArenaNet has been fixing several key aspects of the game. First off is the downstate camera. This has been an area of contention since beta and is a welcome fix. The new camera allows for all races to see more of the overall picture in combat and not be stuck underground or behind the head in a way that blocked the view of the overall scene. Another major problem for ArenaNet has been the abundance of bots. They have done what they can to squash these automated players and it has been pretty effective. In the beginning of the week they were only temporarily suspending players caught using the bots. As of now they are permanently banning them. A key quest line of scoring Dolyaks in World vs World has been disabled. This is because the players using bots preferred this relatively easy quest that garnered unusually high experience points per completion. There is no word when the experience will be turned back on for these quests. Here's your market watch. Current commodities that are in high demand are copper ore with 1,400,000 orders at a market value of 18 copper per piece. Jute scraps 450,000 orders market value of 29 copper. Iron ore 400,000 orders market value of 5 copper. Greenwood Log, 300,000 orders with a market value of 4 copper. Rawhide Leather Section, 260,000 orders with a market value of 10 copper. Top valued items right now on the market are the Dusk of Rage. It's a sword worth 45 gold, 50 silver. The Dawn of Rage, a great sword worth 40 gold. The Lover of Rage, short bow worth 40 gold. The Spark of Rage, dagger worth 30 gold. And finally, the Legend of Rage a staff worth 27 gold. Current values for gems are 100 gems are selling for 18 silver, 52 copper. Here's a report from our field reporter Blue Steel. Take it away Blue. Thanks Geek. I'm standing in front of Corticus's manor and the scene here can only be described as a bloodbath. Authorities have cordoned off the manor while they conduct investigations. But we here at GW2 News have conducted our own inquiries and what we've uncovered is an unbelievable chain of events that links in with the Black Lion Trading Company. Now over the past few days the trading company was business as usual, however consumers were not receiving their deliveries. Initial rumours of the postal service being on strike due to the sewer rat problem were simply not true. Intelligence received through the order of whispers suggests that deliveries were actually being attempted, however these deliveries were being intercepted by outlaws who were stealing the items and leaving no survivors to alert authorities. The outlaws were being held up in the manner which they were utilising as a hideout and storing the loot. Now word on the street is a small group of vigils attached to the Tyrian Old Guard Guild became outraged at the lack of action taken by authorities upon receiving this information and decided to take things into their own hands, vigilante style. Witnesses here say at 5.30am Tyrian time, a group of no less than five bearing an octopus and trident like emblem and armed to the teeth stormed the manor. Screams and yelling could be heard from miles away, and it was all over in less than 20 minutes. The group was seen leaving the manor with a massive load of new armour, weapons and crafting materials. Incredibly, since the raid took place, reports are coming in that people who were awaiting deliveries have now in fact received all their items. Now, leaders from both the Vigil and the Tyrian Old Guard refused to be formally interviewed over the matter, stating they did not authorise the raid. However, Guildmaster Pinky called a press conference a few moments ago. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey! Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Yep, that's pretty annoying. This has been Blue Steel, live from the Manor, GW2 News. Sales reports for the past week on Amazon.com show that Guild Wars 2, both regular and digital deluxe, continue to dominate the PC game sales charts. As of right now, ArenaNet has kept purchases of the game directly from them suspended until further notice you can still purchase the game directly from Amazon.com and other online retailers. The DGN Network is looking for dedicated Guild Wars 2 video producers that either currently have a show or would like to create a show to contact us immediately. The contact information will be below in the description. This has been the Week in Review for Guild Wars 2. We are GNN, a part of the TGN Network. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path and video sponsored by TGN. Click subscribe to find out more or visit us at TGN.TV.